Hi everyone, this is Card Says. We will now begin the reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs this new moon for October 2022. So that's Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Cross watchers are also welcome here. Do check out our playlist for the other zodiac signs that interest you. And I place them in the description box or in the pinned comment section. So do check them out. Now let's check the issues that are surfacing for Gemini this new moon. And what is this? I feel that this is the advice. Yes. Wow, this is really good. Like in the readings that I'm doing for the new moon I would usually get the cups energy and the cups energy is related to water and this new moon is actually um, related to the sign of Scorpio so that's pretty much basically the energy that we're having a Scorpio energy that's why we're having all this cups energy the water energy in our readings okay now for Gemini the issue that is surfacing for you this new moon is the nine of cups in reverse so it's like you're getting what you want but not a hundred percent again so yeah so for example you ordered a shirt okay you got the shirt the shirt got delivered to you but it's of a different color or of a different design but still you got the shirt okay it's basically the nine of cups energy like the ten is the like penultimate form of happiness but this time around again since this is a a resurfacing energy you will experience this um slight form of unhappiness because you're not exactly getting what you want you're not exactly getting what you wished for but that's basically it you're not getting exactly but you're getting most of it so it's still something that's worth um being thankful for <laughs> So now with the uh, Knight of Cups energy here as your advice, the way you would want to deal with this is that even if you don't feel completely happy inside of you, someone in your immediate environment, someone around you, will be offering you something in order to complete this. So it's like, you know, let's go back to our t-shirt example. So you order this t-shirt online and then you receive the package, you got the shirt, but it's not e the exact color that you want. But then someone would offer you, you know, um, let's say they have the shirt that you like and then they would offer it to you. So that would basically complete your happiness. So yeah with the cups energy allow yourself also to receive because the cups is something that is receptive that is the cups is a receptive energy so yeah allow yourself that and also for some of you adaptability so even if you don't see anyone offering you something that would relieve the stress that you got from whatever it is the nine of cups reverse energy that you got even if no one outside of you delivers that kind of comfort allow yourself to adapt and it's basically saying with the cups energy it's about creativity so say if you didn't get the shirt that you like to say for example you ordered a t-shirt that is red Okay, but you got a white shirt, then you can probably dye it, you know, dye the shirt. And you'd be pretty much be happier that way because you are allowing to express yourself in a manner that you chose. 
Okay, Gemini. Now let's move on to your current state, your current energy. This new moon. And I feel like we have to shuffle the cards a bit again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your current state, this new moon. Yeah, advice. Yes. And so there is a reversal. You're getting reversed cards. You get um. So basically, reversed cards are like. It's pretty saying stunted. So there is a stunted growth. In this seven of pentacles, reversed energy, and the advice with the queen of wands, reversed energy is that, don't show people that you're working on whatever it is that you're working on right now, like whatever stunted growth is happening. It could be, you know, career, relationships. Don't show it to people. It's like, don't show people your dirty laundry. Some, some, there's a saying, something like that, you know. The people don't need to know the process, the internal process that you're doing in order to fix yourself or to fix your situation or whatever it is that needs fixing in your life. It could be in your household. It could be something practical with the seven of wands. So it could involve um, money, work, uh, your house in general. So yeah, it's basically saying don't put it in public. Whatever problem it is that you're having, you don't have to share it publicly. Okay, like we have issues but there's really no need to like you know you know how some people are they post everything in social media right so gemini this is not the time for for that you know like solve it first yeah so if like you are you know a social media person like solve it first and then present people the solution that you have and then you tell them the problem it's like you are showing them you are showing people yourself that is already well composed you know you are not showing them the tipsy-turvy side of whatever it is that you're working on within and outside of yourself and that's basically the message that I'm getting fix everything within don't throw your issues your problems out in public yeah it's like people don't need to know right now it's like when you have the solution present them with the solution first and then tell them that the reason you have this solution is because you encountered these problems okay gemini that's the energy i'm getting for you this new moon now we have your blessings coming next and blessings reading for Gemini. The blessings that Gemini is PS. Yes, this is really good. The Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. And the advice is that you're getting the Queen of Wands energy reversed again. Now, with the Seven of Wands energy, the blessings that you are getting is you are learning to set up boundaries. You know, for yourself. And with the Queen of Wands, yeah. Don't tell them the don't tell the people yet the internal work that you're doing and for some of you this seven of wands energy the blessings that the seven of wands energy is giving you is that you are winning a fight you are winning a competition but don't tell the people the techniques because the queen of wands energy is very much outgoing you know she is very showy you know like she is showing her energy she is showing it to everyone but the message for you with the Queen of Wands, don't show the work, don't show them your technique. Don't, um, it's basically your trade secret, so don't show people your trade secret. It's like, you know, people are going to talk about you like how you made it look so easy. So that's the blessing that you're getting. Like you're making things look easy, but they don't know the internal work that you did. And people don't need to know right now. There's that, there is that energy for you, Gemini. And lastly, we have a yes or no reading via the Astro Dice. You can now think of your question answerable by 
yes or no and we clarify it using the tarot you may pause the video if you need more time and I'll be back with the answer for you Gemini now if you're ready you can ask your question and you are getting this Mars energy with a maybe so with the Mars energy this is telling us that something requires action that's why you're getting a maybe so let's see and I'm really feeling yeah this card and this card too oh wow fire yeah you're getting Aries as your you're getting the Mars energy you are also getting the Mars energy and another fire energy for you yeah basically this is saying it's time to take action like even if you have internal baggage even if you have lots of responsibilities with the ten of wands here allow yourself to take action like Allow yourself a specific time to take action towards your goal, towards the, towards the, I'm getting a completion. But the Emperor card is not exactly about completion, but this is the message that I'm getting. Perhaps the completion is with this Ten of Wands energy. Okay. So this is basically saying take action towards what you want regardless what the outside circumstances are are giving you. Yeah. And for some of you, your smarts, Gemini, is going to show with the chess symbolism here. Okay? So yeah, technically you got this as long as you take action. Like, don't get too bogged down with procrastination and things like that be action oriented this new moon so that's the message that uh, has been um, channeled for you Gemini I do hope this reading provided you with some clarity as you go along with healing and your soul's journey consider tapping a like and subscribe to help the channel feel free to check the description box for more info keep safe see you in our next video thank you for watching this is card says